Now, when you get to Jannah, Abdul Rahman, what would you like to eat in Jannah? Not that caramel ice cream for breakfast, dinner, lunch. Caramel ice cream for breakfast, dinner, and lunch. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, we are the Azharis and today I have Abdurman and Dinosaur. Abdurman and Dinosaur and I said Salim Maria. Sal I said Salim 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 Dinosaur 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 It's a very long name. Salim. Okay, still good. <laughs> okay. And your name? Huh? Your name. Dinosaur. And? No, T-Rex. T-Rex and your name. Abdullah. Abdullah. Okay, very Abdullah. good. Abdullah. Very Abdullah. Very good. No. I'm Abdullah too. Okay, you're not. You're Abdurrahman. But I have a question to ask you, Abdurrahman. Who is the most clever person that you know? Me. You? Are you more clever than me? I know oh, who's clever. Okay. What do you think, Mariam? I know someone. Um, Mummy? Mummy. I think someone. Who? I know you. Okay. In well, math. Do you know who's cl more clever than any of us uh, put together? Allah. Allah. I'm Allah. gonna do something. Someone clever than you, except yes. for Allah. Yes. Ibrahim. Who's Ibrahim? Al-Islam. Oh, Prophet Ibrahim. Yes, very good. One of Allah's names is Al-Hakim, which means the most wise, isn't it, Mariam? Yes. The most clever. In fact, Allah calls the Quran Quranil Hakim. Hakim. What does that mean? Quranil then? Mm. What does that mean, Mar? What do you think it means? Exactly. I don't actually know. That is the best and most clever and the most wise book that Allah has sent down. Now, Abdul, in fact, Abdurrahman, let me ask you this question. Abdurrahman, which month do you think the Quran was revealed in? <laughs> Excellent! Look at mommy! Excellent, it was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Now, following the Quran will take us to where? Um, Jannah. To Jannah. Now, when you get to Jannah, Abdul Rahman, what would you like to eat in Jannah? Not that caramel ice cream for breakfast, dinner, lunch. Caramel ice cream for breakfast, dinner, and? Lunch. That's <laughs> lunch, okay. Lunchy what would you breakfast. like to eat in Jannah? Strawberry ice cream. The yes. unicorn ice cream. Oh, the unicorn that ice cream. That we bought. That's with. very nice. Now, Abdullah, what would you like to have in mm. eating gender? Dinosaur. I want to eat a dinosaur. Dinosaur meat. Is that halal? Yeah. Are you sure? We can eat anything in gender. Okay. Well, think about that one. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, hands up once to hear a story. Story time, everybody. We're at home with the Azari. So before we start the story, does anybody know what a niche is? Yeah. You do? Uh, I think I do. Okay. I it's that, it's that um, in masjids, there's like, where the imam prays, there's like, in front of him, there's like, this little door, basically. Exactly. It's uh, like that, a curved part in the wall. Yeah. That's a niche. Now, Allah says that we in our bodies have something that's curved like that. What do you I think know. it is? A curved is like... A tummy! Uh, a tummy or our, our roots. Oh, 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 yes, our roots. That's yeah. our feet. Our feet are a bit curved. Yeah, look. That's curved as well, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> our yeah. feet. Mariam, I have an important question for you. What phone uh, do I have? The Quran. Uh, it's called Quran, isn't it? Daddy yeah. has iPhone 11 Plus. Oh, I didn't have to get that much detail, but iPhone, iPhone. Okay, Abdullah, how many people do you think it took to make the iPhone? Mm. One. One, okay. Eight? So, Abdurrahman, did you know? Mm. Ready? Abdurrahman, did you know it took over 800 people to, oh, to build wow. a small phone? Oh. And Allah gives a challenge. You know how many people there are in 800 people? Yes. Build a, lot a of people. small phone. Yeah, exactly. It's like this big. I know. It took 800 people. Yes. And do you know how many it's people? Like, it's like this big. Yes. And it took. 800 people, Around but it's still it. small, isn't it? It is. Around now, do you know, Abdullah, how many people there are in the entire world? Mm. Affinity and 2000. Not quite. There are about 7 billion people. And Allah billion, gives... billion, billion people! 7 yeah. billion, billion, billion people! A lot of people, isn't it? 7 billion! Over 7 billion. And Allah, gives, Allah gives a challenge. 
to all of the people to recreate the smallest, tiniest animal. Do you know what that is, Abdurrahman? A fly. A fly, he said. So Allah is Al-Hakim and he gives the challenge to all of mankind to even create the smallest of animals, a fly. Can anybody do that, Abdurrahman? Can no. An, no, they can't. Only Allah can create a fly. Exactly, only Allah can. Now, Mariam, I have a question for you. So we said in one of the episodes before, I'm testing your memory. Were you paying attention? When you do one good thing, how many good deeds do you get? One. Ten. One. Ten? It's ten, yeah. Now, Dad, when you... it's one. Allah said ten. Minimum of ten. Now, let's see, Abdullah, if you are paying attention. What do you think is one of the du'as that we recite, okay, before we go to bed? I don't go see. And how many letters do you think are Ayatul Kursi? I don't know. Have a guess. Um, let's say around 20? Around 20. What do you think, Abdurrahman? How many letters in Ayatul Kursi? Mm. Have a guess. 100. Very close. It's actually around about 190. So you know how many good deeds that makes, Mariam? If one, one good deed is 10... 1,900. Excellent. Because if you do 190 times by 10, it's 1,900. Excellent, mashallah. 1,900 just for reciting Ayatul Kursi. And Abdullah, do you know what other times we should recite Ayatul Kursi? Before we go to bed, and when else? And when we're scared. When we're scared, and what about after we pray? Oh, yes. Yes, well, after we pray as well. Now, Abdurrahman. So, Abdurrahman, who is stopping us from getting, or who doesn't want us to get to Jannah? Allah! Allah? <laughs> no, Allah wants us to get to Jannah. Who doesn't want us? Who wants us to stay away from Jannah? The bad person. Who is it? Excellent. Oh, you lost it. Shaitan was coming in there as well. So, Shaitan, now. I dropped my dinosaur. That's okay. Now, who knows the story of Adam and Shaitan? We've mentioned it briefly. Okay, do you want to tell what we are? We're at home with the Azaris. Allah told all of the angels to bow down to Adam. Yes. But, um, but. Um, Shaitan didn't listen to him. Just blow that. Excellent. Shaitan didn't listen. Now, Abdurrahman, do you know the difference between Iblis and Shaitan? Rabbi, zidni, ilma. I know who you're stronger. Who's stronger? Adam. Adam. Okay, so Shaitan tricked Ib Yes, Adam. Do you know the difference? Iblis. Yes. What's the difference? So, basically, all of the... All of the shaitans yeah. are called shaitan, but the most powerful yes. is called Iblis. Yes, so Iblis is the biggest one, but Iblis is also called shaitan. Now I'm yes. going to ask you another question to help us understand it. Abdurrahman, when we make do a barbecue, okay, what do we need? Charcoal. Charcoal, very good. And when charcoal Lighters. is heated, what happens? Fire. It burns. The name Iblis, the name Iblis means something that's burnt. Oh. Yes, it means something that's burnt. So that's what Iblis means. Iblis means something that's burnt. Do you know what Shaitan means, Abdullah? No. It means a very, very long rope. So imagine, Mariam, you know when you went on, you're climbing the wall or climbing outside and there's that rope? Oh, yeah, when I went to um, camp. Yes. So Shaitan is the word which means a long rope because he wants to take us far away from Jannah. Oh. Did you know that? Who? Yeah. Shaitan. And when in the story of Prophet Yusuf, who whispered to the brothers of Yusuf? Tell everybody at home over there. Uh, Which... Shaitan. Exactly, Shaitan whispered to them. Now, Mariam, how can we protect ourselves from Shaitan at night time? We can um, read I tell Kursi and Good. the three colors. Okay. And more. Uh, so I'm more yes. And but how do I don't we... know it. That's okay, we're learning. Abdullah, do you know how we do the three calls uh, before we go to bed? So Tell everybody at home. So first you cup your hands, then you do a dry blow. And then what do you recite? And then you recite Had. Had. And Nas and Kholak. And Falak. Excellent. And then what do you do? So you go you dry your three calls. And then you wipe over your... And then you wipe over your body. Excellent. And how many times do you feet. do that? 
Well, you can write over all of your body, but how many times did you do that? Three. Three times, very good. Okay, now, one of the things that shaitan will try to do is he will try to trick us. Anybody knows any of the tricks of shaitan? Yeah. Forget. Will, yes, he will make us try and forget. So very important, before we go to sleep, everybody, we recite Ayatul Kursi and the three calls. So today we learned about Allah's name Al-Hakim, which means the most? Wise. wise. Excellent. Wise. The most wise, the most knowledgeable. <laughs> so anytime we think, who knows the most? Who knows the most knowledge? Allah. Allah. Okay, so from us, that's goodbye. Everyone say salam again. Say salam again. Click like. Subscribe and comment to be able to win a prize. Details in the description.